the fall explosion in the first round over Ethan Headley of Pittsburgh. Burroughs is automatically in on an early takedown. Looks like he's going to let Lister up. So Jordan Burroughs from Nebraska with a two to one lead back in on a trip and he'll take down Lister toward the edge of the mat. Yeah, nobody, I think, in this tournament wrestles as low as far as the, you know, diving back in, fully committing, with maybe the exception of Anthony Robles, and he wrestles on a knee most of the time. So, and you've got uh, David Taylor, and the uh, other 57 pounder, the third seed, the standout here. He's going against uh, David Bonet, the uh, Northern Iowa, at 157 pounds. Taylor working comfortably like he normally does with that. Uh, uh, half Nelson and tilt just load people up onto his hips and then he uh, works the tilt Burroughs with a four to two lead early on he's back in on the leg again toward the edge of the mat he'll get two more points Jordan Burroughs in cruise control six to two the Husker leading it let's go back to 157 real quickly number two seed Steve Fittery of American wrestling he has a two to one edge early on just a few seconds into the match Johnny Greisheimer of Edinburgh in the second period Derek St. John was warned for stalling but he decided to go ahead and stay in the top position and ride the period out there now he'll go ahead and take the down position to start the second period it's Walter uh, Pepp Peppelman of uh, Harvard and we saw here where poor Peppelman looked like he was comfortable in the scramble anyway riding and now he's got the wrist locked and he's got what he wants right there he's got that wrist locked if he locked up uh, St. John right here that's potentially back points saw this maybe coming the referee's got to get down there I don't know what he's waiting for showed pretty good balance again uh, the referee really took his time getting down there. I think there, you hear some boos from the other. Yeah, those are the boos that you hear right now. Or, or uh, a little surprised that wasn't back points given to Peppelman from Harvard. I think St. John did a nice job of getting out of that, but uh, it's tough. But you can see where Peppelman is dangerous. He's got you get that wrist ride, loads you up. St. John has felt it. Wastes no time coming up, comes up to a standing switch, but nice job by Peppelman staying with him. Fittery of American on top, six to two, first period. Wow. Look at David Taylor. Deep half. Again. Getting bonus points from these young freshmen here. The Lions are putting themselves in great shape. St. John of Iowa holding two nothing lead over Peppelman. Second period. And Peppelman is going to try to. They'll probably call stalling here. Here you see the, the, the kicking with the free leg. You're going to call stalling, but he'll he'll take that because he wants to stay in the top position. He wants to get a new start there. He'll sacrifice the stall warning, right? Even though he's behind, he'll sacrifice that stall warning to be able to get up on top and get another chance of getting that wrist ride. Of course, St. John has felt it about four or five times now. Look at Fittery. Roll through. Short time in the first period. He's going to grab another five, three points. Uh, off of this. Nice job of staying with uh, uh, Peppelman from uh, Harvard, staying with uh, St. John. Good solid tactical match. If he can stay in the top position all the way through that, that'll be good for him. But, uh, at least break uh, what St. John, what little riding time St. John has left. And he's looking for that wrist ride. Top seeded Jordan Burroughs of Nebraska leading nine to four, second period. And at five to go, Burroughs in the black for the Huskers. David Taylor, Penn State in control. 
over Gonet of U and I, nine to three. And Steve Fittery continues to impress from American. The number two seed just continues to pour it on. 12-3, Fittery on top. Well, this is looking for a, a great style matchup. These two wrestlers can win in the next round. They can go ahead and, and uh, it's going to be a great style matchup between the short, stocky, flexible Fittery and the uh, long, lanky, tall drink of water that can put you on the back from any position, David Taylor. And look how flexible he is. He just very comfortable. Let's update you with the St. John Pepperman match here. Iowa wrestler going ahead and 4-0 uh, score. You can't tell Sean where the riding time is a factor on that match. Pepperman in on a leg. All right. St. John pretty comfortable here on the side. Riding time is not a factor for Peppelman or St. John. So if, he, if Peppelman can scoop that bottom leg, which he just did, and create a little separation, try to get his hip, head out, create a little hip separation, kind of separate his hips from the chest. St. John, the referee calls a stalemate. And that's one of those situations where you know you can get in, now you got to finish quicker. You know what your opponent's going to do, you know, lop over the top of you. Get back in on that shot again and finish quicker. Takes the shot, but he just doesn't. Uh, St. John measured it, saw it coming. Here's the scramble situation, and look out, because St. John can put you on your back from here. Steve Finnery, 14 4. He leads it. Taylor of Penn State, 12 3. Young Nittany Lion continues to shine in the spotlight. And as expected, Jordan Burroughs, Nebraska. Over Justin Lister. Lister just trying to slow it down a little bit. He trails 12 to 4. Well, I don't know how you slow that down. That's, a, that's a, just a missile coming at your knees. And it looks like Lister's a little banged up right there. I mean, Burroughs comes so hard. There's another pinning opportunity for David Taylor up 17 to 3. Going to get back points. So that's going to be 20 to three. Technical fall. Bonus points again for the Penn State freshman. Young athletes from Penn State really stepping up here in day one of the 2011 championships from Philadelphia.